And he's anchored down to a piece of moss. But yeah, this snake is pretty cool. And the other one is over there looking like a stick. And that snake is anchored all the way down to all the moss at the bottom. The beautiful fish they were eating on last night. <clears throat> Each snake ate three fish and look at her belly. You can't even really tell from her belly, but it doesn't even look like she ate three fish. Look at that one. I mean, you can probably tell with this one, but not too much. But it's a simple setup with moss at the bottom, some rocks little small 10 gallon just for them to grow out but they're doing wonderful perfect they're doing really really well and i love that little stomach pattern on these guys too all the way up to the top with their little mustache they look he kind of look like bishers when they're underwater uh i gotta get some footage and show you guys what they look like underwater uh, the fish and the snake kind of looks just alike. What's up, YouTube? It's been probably about two weeks, maybe, since we last set up the tentacle snakes. Uh, we did put them in a different uh, enclosure. This is a bigger tank. We took them out the other one. This tank is pretty scratched up. I got this tank for free. I mean, hey, why not? It was for free. Uh, we already had a uh, Fluval 406 up there. We use Fluval over uh, here. We got uh, four Fluval uh, F6s. We got two F4s. We got one F5 for our Fluvals. We have another Fluval over here for our Shinisaurus enclosure. But we're back over here for these tentacle snakes. I mean, these tentacle snakes, I feel like they got a little bit bigger since we last got them. Uh, they are super gray. I mean, they don't have that uh, that greenish uh, color pattern they had, that pattern they had when they first came in. I mean, you can see how many fish are in here. I mean, they got a lot of fish to eat. A lot of fish. I mean, there's uh, mollies in here. There's a molly there. Let's check out that molly right there. Molly's in here. We got mosquito fish. We got some uh, uh, rosy red minnows over there. And they love this little tree right here. This is their favorite spot. I think this is like a 75, <clears throat> 75 gallon. I haven't posted in a minute because I was super sick. But yeah, check them out. We got a bunch of fish in this tank right here so there's there won't be no food uh that will that won't be able to be reproduced i mean we got males and females so they'll constantly reproduce in here and give these snakes some uh some food to constantly eat this is a above shot i mean we got we do have a uh, screen up here i did take the screen i take i take the screen to the back i mean they can't get out of there it's all taped down it's cut taped i even glued it some so they can't get back from, uh because i did that because <clears throat> the cords are coming up and i guess these snakes can climb out but i just did it just to be sure so they can't get out but yeah those are the tentacle snakes right there, you guys? A little update. They are in a bigger enclosure. 
Ooh, those snakes look crazy. So freaking beautiful, y'all. Hey, I got video of one of the tentacle snakes actually yawning. That is crazy. Have you guys seen an aquatic snake yawn before? We'll uh, check this out right here. I'm gonna show you a clip. snake you guys check that out i love that underbelly pattern on the tentacle snakes this tentacle snake wrapped her tail around the other one and they try to escape after look at this this is the furthest they ever like actually climbed out of the enclosures to uh to land because they have a soft belly so they really don't be on land. They usually stay underwater. So this right here is some poop from the tentacle snakes. Uh, out of few people ask, did their poop either sink or float? And it looks like it sinks to me. So I actually caught this snake right here eating but not eating he struck at one of the fish but this snake is so fast with their strike reactions it is so crazy but the fish got away it was so awesome check this out i have never seen a tentacle snake miss and that's the first miss we've seen today let's see if he'll be able to catch another fish in this clip Dang, two strikes. Two fish got away from this guy. And we got another miss right there. That's four misses in a row. But they did eventually end up catching one. So scores up one for the snake. Oh, that was quick. Oh, wow, he didn't catch him. Look at that. Did you guys catch that tongue flicker? Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, comment, and don't forget subscribe and hit that bell icon notification. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates on these beautiful alien snakes. See ya.